This is a little stream in central Utah, in the mountains, as you can see. It's mostly spring-fed. It's got a lot of beaver ponds on it. What we're going to show today is how to approach beaver ponds and uh, for wary trout. Be trout in, in small streams in beaver ponds can be really tough to catch. Don't expect us to catch a bunch of them on this video. We're going to show you how to approach. And we're basically going to show you the difficulties that you can get into. Now, my friend has made an approach on the upper end of this of this beaver pond. You can't see the water, but it, it's narrow where the water is coming in. He's sneaking up on it, and he's taking his time getting down. He's not going to get high, not going to be high. He get down there and make a cast if he can without scaring the fish. And we'll, we'll see how he does. It's no guarantee when you fish these beaver ponds. He managed to get in position there, but he didn't get one. So now what he's going to do, he's going to go around, stay out of sight, and go down. I'm up beside it here and in a good position. I have not scared the fish. They're, they're in there, as you can see. He was in the upper end that we're showing there, but this is the main part down here by the dam. They're in there. The brown trout in this stream. Most of them 10, 12, 14 inches long. But that's a nice little songbird can step down. There's one right there. That's a nice, nice brown trout down there. He's about, he's probably about. 13, 14 inches long. He's in position, ready to feed. But then he's going to work his way around to come in from below. But you'll notice below the down here, there's, there's trout there. And you can see him rising there. There's one there. There's another one. So Dan's going to approach from below, and he's going to show you what most people do, and that is they neglect the little outrun below the dam. And below the dam, there's almost always a fish there. They're hard to approach. You can't approach them from in the water, though, like that. That will scare them. And you wade right through them. It would have been possible to sneak in from the side, but they just show you what a lot of people miss, a, a good opportunity to uh, get a fish. Now, when you stay low below the dam. Be sure you get organized there that you so you don't tangle up or something. Sometimes you only get one chance at this. Dan's getting ready. Get a little shower here. That doesn't hurt anything. It's, it's a plus. Make your first cast short. Ordinarily, you'll get one right away. If they're not spooked or something, I know that we know there's a fish there because we saw it. So you didn't do it again. again. Eventually, then you'd you'd lengthen your cast and put it out there. But he's not. He didn't get anything. Now we're going to move below to the next hole down. This is a wider hole, a deeper hole. It's shallow in the upper end and wide. No way to approach it from the from the upper side. So this one you he needs to approach from below the dam also. So he'll have to work his way around there and get in there and see what he can see what he can do. Do a do a Indian type approach. Sneak up on him. No guarantee, but you need to try it. It's so brushy and everything in this particular place it's almost impossible, but it's worth it was worth an effort. So he didn't do any good initially there. Yeah. Usually it's a first cast or something, so probably what he needs to do is move on up towards the dam. That's what he'll do. Now he did try below the dam, but, but he's already spooked one a little further down. And when he's spooked them like that, they run back up and hide under the dam or something. So in this case, there was no need to try to fish below the dam. 
he'd make his approach and try to fish from below the dam. Keep keep low. Try not to tangle up. And you'd be sure you're ready before you cast. If your line is flying around in the wind or something, you hang up on a stick or something. It's real frustrating to fish behind below these dams. It's just a, a huge snag pile. <laughs> you got, like I say, you can catch one immediately sometime. You caught that one instantly the first cast because it came off. And that may have spooked the other fish, unfortunately. So he's gonna, he'll try. He'll, he'll get in here and cast a few more times. But sometimes you only get one one shot at him. Well, he didn't get one that time. Got to be careful not to snag on the on the uh, dam all those sticks. So when you pick up, you need to pick up high. Well, you think? You no, know, he doesn't have a fish. He's hung up hung on up a stick. There. So that's about it. You either break it off, or you go up low, and get it. If you go up and get it, you definitely have scared the fish. So that's just uh, the way it is. After all that effort, one little baby, little baby one that came off, and and uh, the big ones you didn't get it once you get up there. It's a difficult, difficult thing. Now he could retrieve back and, and go out the way he came in. He's going down to get his net, but that's not the answer. Because it's, it's difficult to go back that way. Once you've already scared the fish, the thing to do is get back up on the dam if it's, if it's suitable and just walk out on top of the dam because you've already scared the fish. You don't have to go down and, and wade through the rough stuff to, to get away. And so now we're going to go try another spot. And this is a little, another little beaver pond. It's kind of isolated here. It's really still. This requires stealth. You need to sneak up on it. Seriously sneak up. So he's staying low. The answer to this place, of course, is to carefully get in there and not frighten the fish with the first cast. Be sure you don't hit the water with your with your cask. Sometimes and there there I am. I'm casting a longer cast. Sometimes you you work the close water, but if you can't get them, then you make a longer cast. Want to be sure that you don't hang up behind you. You need. It's important to have a clear lane behind you. Now, if you can't catch them close, sometimes you can catch them by casting to the far side if it's a nice clean cast. But standing up is not really the best best way to operate. Yeah, we're keeping a few fish because there's so many in here and it needs it need room to grow. So that's a brown trout, a wild brown trout. And we don't have to go very far to find good fish to eat. This is a uh, you know very clean little stream natural well we're not we're not in an easy spot this is no this we, is, we, we have to have waders yeah we got the waders we've been crawling i'm soaking wet i've been crawling on my cry, trying to crawl into some of these places if uh, this is opposite of what we find in our in the streams we fish most of the time is where the fish are not wild because they're used to seeing people on top of them but they definitely know what the fly looks like, and you better have a good fly presentation. These are wild fish. These are wild fish. They're not, they're not looking at you and, and ignoring you. They're going to hide. The, the, the secret then is to not scare them. Yes. Because they're hungry. Yeah, once they're scared, they're done. <laughs> 